Okay guys, I've been prepping chemistry and I promised I'd come back and share. Guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna and if you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. We are entering our eighth year of homeschooling for the 2024-2025 school year. We will have a seventh grader and a third grader. Today, I wanted to come on and show you how I am prepping for chemistry. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. Quick recap, we will have a seventh grader and a third grader. <clears throat> we like to combine our science because it's easier, especially when you're doing experiments and things like that. This past year, we did middle school biology. This coming year, we will be doing middle school chemistry. And yes, with my third grader as well. I just have slightly different expectations for what she is going to carry forth out of this curriculum than her seventh grade counterpart sister. I did tons and tons and tons and tons of science research and chose the free, available American Chemistry Society's middle school chemistry curriculum, which is all online and available. So I chose to use this because it looks fun, engaging, secular. It's all provided for me and I will give you a look into their website in just a minute because I'm going to show you how we are prepping for chemistry. And I know that many of you, since I announced we would be using this, have been waiting on me to release the full shopping list. Now, I have made an Amazon shopping list, I'm going to link it down below, of everything that you need in order to do every single science experiment in this program. With the exception of a few things I'm going to assume you have. I think you have a sink, okay? I didn't put a sink on there. I think that you have a trash can. I did not put a trash can on there. However, let me say this right now. I put everything on there and I tried to find, like as I went through the list, if I found something that was like a repeat or a different thing or thing we could multi-use, I went ahead and changed it and added it. Under no circumstances should you buy this full list. Why? Because there are things on there that you have in your home. You probably have sugar, you don't need to buy sugar. You probably have an insulated cup, you do not need to buy an insulated cup. I'm talking like coffee cup or something like that. I put everything on this list. Do not buy it all. Do you hear me? There are things on there you do not need to buy. They are in your house, 100%, I guarantee it. It's an absolute fact there are things in your house. There are other things that might not be in your house. So those are on the list. So look at the list, look at your kitchen, figure out what you need, what you don't need, because again, you do not need everything on this list. I am telling you right now, do not buy everything on this list. You have most of it in your kitchen right now. But if you don't, it's on the list, with the exception of like sink and trash can, because I mean, come on. Come on. Okay, so there you go. That's a disclaimer. Made the list for you. Link down below. If I remember, I'll, or if I can, I don't know if I can link Amazon list up here. I'll stick it up here. So there you go. Don't buy it all. Do not buy it all. Under no circumstances, buy it all. Don't come to me and be like, Shauna, I bought it all. Do not do that. But it should all be easy to find because I put it in the Amazon list. You are welcome. It took like forever. Forever. But as I was going through, I was like highlighting like what I actually need versus like what I don't need or know I already have. So that was kind of handy. So I have already done some of that prep work. So that, now I'm going to show you my intent. Again, we will be doing this on Mom and Me Monday with both children. My intent is that I am going to, and I will show you, share the lesson and do a Google Classroom. I know I'm getting so techy and so cool. So I'm gonna pop over and show you that. However, I'm gonna prep for the first month of using this program because in the event that they do not like the online program or it does not go well, I will then just print the things and I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a minute. So let's pop over and I'll show you how I'm prepping for chemistry. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you how I am setting up for our middle school chemistry. I'm going to create a class over here, yada yada, in my Google Classroom, which I think is so cool. Okay, here we go. I'm creating chemistry. I'm going to show you how all of this works. Okay, so here is my chemistry class. Now I can add classwork, people, grades, customize all of this. Okay, so I've set up my classroom, my chemistry classroom in Google Classroom, and it's really easy. You just go to Google, click these dots, scroll down to classroom. 
and then create a class. It's really, really easy, okay? Now, this is the middle school chemistry, American Chemistry Society's middle school chemistry course. You guys know I am planning to use this. Now, here under tools, you have tips for using, which is really handy, material supply list, which is the list I used to build a list on Amazon, and downloads. Now here, you can go ahead and download everything that you need for each lesson. Okay, so my plan, there's all the simulations and videos, there's online assignments, under online assignments, watch this, I'm gonna show you. Oh, you know what, hang on, let me explain this a little bit. So over here, this is the lesson, and it has everything that you need. Each one of these is a lesson. So this is chapter one, okay? There's student ratings, chapter one tests. You can download the PDF, the document, or a Google Doc, okay? It explains to you if you go into the lessons for the lesson plans, it tells you exactly what to say. It gives you an idea for teachers, how to teach it, exactly what you'll need, okay? It tells you exactly what to do. You just have to follow the directions. So here is my plan and how I am prepping and planning to use this, okay? Interactive lesson modules is Google Form. For students, a Google Doc, okay, resources. These are all the chapters, all the lessons, all the things you need for the chapters. So for the students, my plan, here's the lesson plans and the activity sheet answers, okay? I'm going to go to Google Doc. Here is the activity sheet for your students. You can print it or not. Add to drive. I can click chemistry, add. Okay, so when I come over here into my drive, it is here. Now, in order to do this, I think in order to share it, you had to um, like make a copy of it, but that's totally fine. Now, when I come back over here, resources for the entire chapter one right here, student reading, student test bank, click Google Doc. Okay, now this is all of the reading for the chapter. And again, we can add it to our drive. Now, when I come up here, online assignments, we can add that to our drive as well. Google Doc for the test. Here's the test, I'm gonna add it to my drive. Now again, I haven't decided if this is gonna be done digitally or if we're going to print it, but I just wanna have the options and I wanna have everything in line. Okay, so I've gone to online assignments for the very first one, Molecules Matter. It wants me to make a copy. I'll make a copy. Now here, I can change all kinds of things. Okay, so we're going to change the settings. Do we need to get email addresses? We don't. Do not collect. Do not collect, thank you. There we go, do not collect email addresses. Okay, so questions. We don't need that. You probably also do not need your kid's name. There we go. Now, section two has the reading. Here's the video. Here they can do the answers right in line. And again, I've not decided yet if we're gonna like the printing or the not printing best. Here is the activity to explain how it works. Everything that you need is right in line through this online assignments, okay? And then how do you feel about the lesson, which I think is great. Now, I'm going to send it. Are you ready? Now, all of my changes have been saved in Drive. So let me come over here, watch this. There we go. Okay, when I come over here into my Drive, refresh, here it is. Now, if I come over here to chemistry, classwork, create, assignment, okay, where am I going to get it from? I'm going to get it from my drive. Boom, copy of remote learning. And we are going to do it lesson 1.1, okay? Assign. That's it. Now I can add both my kids. They can do the individual things on their tablets. We can do it together. We can do it however we would like to do it. I can do the same thing with the tests. 
so cool. This is how I am planning to do our chemistry as of now. I was the right to change, but just so you know, it's that easy. So cool. I feel so techy. It's all set up. We can do all of these things. If we prefer print, we can do that. And if not, we've got it right in our Google Classroom. Okay? Okay. I hope that you found any of that helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. Do not buy it all. Do not buy it all. Guys, I can't stop looking at how bad I need to do my roots. But it looks weird when it's like way back. Um, anyways, do not buy it all, okay? Do not buy it all. Do not buy it all. I can't say it enough. Please don't buy it all. But it is linked down for you below to help you uh, find everything really easily. So, bye guys. <laughs>